Today's video will be about building a ventilation for the Bamboo X1 Carbon 3D printer. This isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial, but rather a documented journey of my building process. The X1 does a pretty good job keeping the air in the chamber and passing it out through the carbon filter, but the filtration isn't 100% effective. And since I want to print other filaments than PLA, I need to get rid of the fumes. But even if I was printing just PLA, this material still emits smelly fumes that I'd rather not breathe. It's a pretty simple project, or it sounded simple at first. My plan is to route the air from the printer outside through a plastic hose. I don't want to vent outside from a window, but rather to a screened patio through door. A process that will include cutting a hole into the door as well. This is where air comes out of the printer. There is a small fan behind it, like those that you can find in PCs. So, one of the things I have to design is a door adapter with a flap, similar to the ones that are on the bathroom exhaust vents. And a second thing to design is the exhaust manifold. I designed all parts and stages, so the video won't be chronological. Let's start with the flap and its housing and door insert. I started working in Onshape a few weeks ago. It's well documented and easy to use software that runs in your browser. And it's free if your creations stay public. The door side of the insert is going to be 2 inches in diameter. This ring is to keep it in place in the hole that I'll cut into the door. The opening handle is going to be on top, so I'll create a little support surface for it here. The flap rod will go straight through it. I made the flap just 0.1 millimeters smaller than the inside of the housing. We'll see if it's enough for clearance. And the first prototype is printed. I must say it fits pretty well and opens easily, but I see I will have to add a ring inside the housing just to have it more airtight. And of course, add a connector for the handle. This will be perfect. The handle will just slide on top and that's it. As you can see, I cut the door insert part in two pieces. It'll be easier to print these parts separately and glue them together later. I guess most of it could be printed in one piece, but some of the parts are better printed flat and others standing up. And let's not forget about the text. It's a little detail, but will look really good in red and white color combination. Looks great to me. I think the handle is finished. Okay, now I have to add the inside ring. One half will go on the inlet side and the other on the outlet side. That way it will get more airtight. And finished. Let's export and print the prototype. All right, the flap works pretty well. This part is finished. My idea was to build the system in a way that I can easily disconnect it from the door insert by using magnets. This is a hose I got on Amazon. It was like $11. It's two inches in diameter and is extensible to like eight feet. I'm planning to screw the connector with the magnets into one side and the printer exhaust manifold to the other. The pipe or hose also comes with this connection coupler, which I will use as a template for my connector. I just need to take a few measurements, such as diameter and the thread pitch, then use the sweep function to create the correct thread. And this is how the finished thread looks like. Let me print the sample to see how well it fits into the hose. This looks very good. I think I measured well. Now the magnetic connection part. I'll just add a ring at the end of the thread. Three magnets should be enough to hold it in place. Now I have to mirror the whole part to create the door insert side. And this is how the connection will look like. 
Actually, I have to add some flange for both parts to connect well. Or we'll keep it at only 3 degrees. It should be enough for a smooth connection. Looks pretty good to me. Let's export and print these parts. I don't need to print the whole part as I just want to check if the connection will be good. So we'll cut these two models and print only the rings. This is my second print with PET-G, and as you can see, I really have to tune the settings. The X1 prints PLA flawlessly, but PET-G needs some work. Nice. They fit right in. The magnets go right in and hold in place, but I just realized I have to make these holes shallower. Three of these will be enough to keep the pipe in place. All right, and the final part is the exhaust manifold. Many users already created and printed their own exhaust manifold, so I won't be designing it from scratch, just modifying it. As I mentioned before, Onshape is free as long as you are okay with your models being public, which also means I can find someone else's models like this bamboo exhaust. This one doesn't have magnet holes and also the outlet is four inches. And this is the same one with my modifications. Changed the outlet size and added holes for magnets. At first I thought I would merge these two parts into one and print as one, but found out it will be way easier and cleaner to print separate and then glue together. Since I already printed my poop chute container, I have to move the exhaust outlet a little higher so I can fit the hose on top. Okay, let me put the thread part into place and this should be ready to print. First, I want to check that the bottom with magnets will fit on the printer correctly. Let's export and cut the top part off. I decided to print it in grey peat G to match the color of the printer a bit. I used the 0.1mm for the magnets again and again, they fit in perfectly. This is how the manifold will fit on the back of the printer. Okay, time to print the whole thing. This will take like six hours as the model needs support to be printed correctly. And yes, my PET-G prints still need some tweaking. This doesn't look that good. I should have printed in 0.12 millimeters, plus should have added the top layer ironing. Let me put the magnets in and see how it stick to the chassis. All right, this looks great. Covers the entire fan grill and holds well in place. This is where the hose will go. But it doesn't matter now, as I unfortunately realized I have to change the whole project anyway. At first I didn't want to go with pipe larger than 2 inches, wanted to keep it small, but now I actually decided to go with 3 inch diameter, as 2 inch actually seemed way too small. 3 inch will be less flow restricting, and also it's easier to find an extractor for 3 inch rather than 2 inch, if I ever feel like I need one. This is a 3-inch pipe I got from Amazon. It has an opposite thread than the other pipe had, so we'll also have to mirror the threaded parts. I expected that going from 2-inch to 3-inch would be easy, just by changing the diameter parameter, but it was a lot of work, actually. In Onshape, all the parameters can be changed retrospectively, but that can also create a few issues with related parts. After a few hours of work, it's finally finished. I'm planning to work on the version 2.0 in the future as I want to design it a little better. I want to make the outer body more symmetric and also way more flush with the door. Let's inspect the final prints and install the whole system. This looks way better than my previous print. I was playing with the PET-G setting a bit and I think I tuned it pretty well. The changes were mostly in changing temperatures, first layer speed and retraction. I have to redo the flat print. We'll export it in much higher resolution and print in 0.08. Way, way better, but still having these issues at the bottom. If you have any recommendation how to fix these, let me know in the comments. Last part is the lever or handle that will open the flap. This video required more time and effort than it might seem, particularly with the CAD design phase. 
However, it served as a valuable learning experience. All right, it's time to cut some holes. I actually never measured the door, so we'll have to modify the insert after measuring this cutout. And the custom 3D printer ventilation is finished. I love how clean it looks, especially on the outside of the door. I'm already thinking about the upgrades for version 2.0, which will have more compact design, and I want to add magnet on the flap as well. I just realized it would be a pretty good idea to have front rim and rear magnetic cover for the times when I'm not using the vent, and maybe a bug screen. We'll definitely have to add more magnets into the design as I didn't expect these will be too weak to hold the pipe connections as well as hold the exhaust in place. Alright, that's it for today. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.